Hi, I'm Simon from the Red Ferret and if you're a bit into tech, you're probably also a bit into the camera world or even the action camera world. So today I'm going to check out the Go Extreme action camera. So this is the Vision 4 4K action camera from Go Extreme. It shoots 4K 24 frames per second. It has Wi Fi 30 meters waterproof, 160 degree field of view. It has a display, real time video support, time lapse, and slow motion as well. So, as you can see, this is the camera itself. It comes in a plastic case, which is meant for the waterproofness of this device. Cleaning cloth. Some straps, a mount, another mount, again a mount, sticky tapes, a foot for um, placing it somewhere or mounting it as well, a camera mount, mount for your bike as well, another mount, don't know for what that is, a case again for on a tripod, again a back plate, some zip tighteners or what are these called, again a mount, another mount and a micro USB cable for charging and a manual and a sticker as well. So as per usual, there are a lot of things in the box on this camera compared to, for example, a GoPro, which is the most famous action camera on the, in the world. I think these things pack a lot of accessories straight out of the box. If you buy a GoPro, you have to buy all these and these cost like $20, $30. While with the uh, unknown brands, for example, the Go Extreme brand, you get all these in the box. And I really like that. That's that. That's epic in my opinion. So you can immediately use this camera on your bike, for example, with this mount. So that's pretty cool. Then let's take a look at the camera itself. It comes in this plastic case, as you can see, with metal buttons on the side, on the front and on the top as well. And it clips, so it's definitely closed and sealed water proof as well. So as you can see, this camera is pretty small in my hand. So it has a screen on the back as well, a two inch screen, as you can see. And yeah, it's, it's, it's plastic built. Uh, I wasn't expecting anything else. So you have two buttons over here on the side, a Wi-Fi button on the top. You have the OK button on the top over here and you have the power and the uh, switching modes button as well on the front. On the side you have USB input and the micro SD card slot as well. And then on the bottom of course you have the access point for the battery. So let's turn this beast on and then you can see you get a live view of everything the lens sees. And then in the settings on this device, if you just press the mode button, you can change it to for taking pictures, for example. You can also watch your latest videos as well. And you can change over here, you can change the resolution, time lapse, HDR, all these things. You can even change the field of view. So you have wide, medium and narrow, fish eye adjust, aqua mode, Wi-Fi. So um, you can use this via Wi-Fi as well. So you have 4K at 24 frames per second, 2.5K at 30 frames per second, 1080p 60, 1080p 30. 720p 120, 720p 60, 720p 30, and then we VGA, P30, VGA, um, again VGA and QVGA, but uh, we're not going to use these. I think the uh, best setting for this camera will be 1080p on 30 frames per second. That's the same quality that I use on that camera, that camera, and that camera. So I filmed some clips with this thing, and um, I'm going to show these right now.
So my main worry with these devices is the quality, um, the frames per second of course because they always say it's 4K, it's uh, extremely good resolution but mostly it's like 4K with only 20 frames per second so that, that, that just doesn't look good. This is 4K with 24 frames a second it's just good enough but I would suggest 1080p 30 frames per second or even more so um, that's perfect for me. So it's also very nice that you can go up to 60 frames per second on 1080p which means you can do a slow motion for example. You can do a very fluid slow motion in Premiere Pro when you import it and uh, scale it back to 30 frames per second it will be very fluid. So that's actually pretty cool. You also have the 120 frames per second option which is super slow-mo and that's even cooler than 60 frames per second. So uh, yeah overall the quality maximum I think is 1080p if you go to 4k it's not that good anymore 2.5k might be good as well for you but i think 1080p you'll get the best best super quality from this if you shoot at 1080p with 30 frames a second that's just the best quality and that, that's not that's not even an issue for me you get the extra options for 2.5 or 4k but i don't really know if you need those if you have this good quality at 1080p so this is definitely a very good action camera for the price it's pretty cheap and look at all the accessories you get in the box so that's pretty cool as well but for that price of course it's plastic it's not the best quality uh, the best build quality the image quality the colors are not perfect either i'm going to be honest i've seen better but you have to make sure you see the price and you see what you get in the box and you see the quality it's definitely not bad it's, it's good as well so combine all these factors and this is a very good buy for you all right if you have any questions regarding this action camera let them know in the comment section down below and i'll be very glad to help you i hope you enjoyed this video if you did leave a like down below if you didn't leave dislike and tell us why so we can improve our videos and i hope i'll see you yes you who's watching this behind your phone or behind your computer screen i don't know in our next video bye bye